So we move up to the 75 kilogram middleweight division. This one, a contest between boxers from Russia and Ukraine. In the red corner, representing Russia, Gleb Bakshi. Well, here is the tournament number one seed, the number one ranked middleweight in the world, the reigning world championship gold medalist, Gleb Bakshi, who has been absolutely imperious through this tournament so far. A terrific series of displays actually prevailed or progressed from the semi-final to the final on a walkover. So the tournament number one seed, preparing for his fifth scheduled bout of the tournament, will come in rest, rested and refreshed. But so too will this man, Alexander Kizhniak, because he is preparing for his fifth scheduled bout of the tournament. But he comes to the final off a walkover in the semi-final. So the top two seeds in the tournament, we see confirmation of the walkovers that they had at the final four stage. The top two seeds in the tournament, Kizniak is ranked number four in the world, will be rested and refreshed ahead of this gold medal bout. And this one promises to be a hard-hitting affair of the highest order, plenty of skill and experience beneath the belts of this man, of both men, excuse me. The middleweight division, the most populated bracket in all of the weights being contested here. We've got judges from Mongolia, Sri Lanka, Guatemala, the Korean Republic and Kazakhstan storing this one. With 34 men in contention, we effectively had a round of 64 for two of the boxers, both of these men facing off for their fifth bout of Paris 2021. What, what? Oh my goodness, what a start between these two. And they know one another very well indeed. They faced off at the quarter-final stage of the 2019 European Games. And it was the man in blue who prevailed. And this is though it's round four of that particular contest because they have started at a frenetic pace. Both men sinking their feet into the canvas, looking to get plenty of leverage into their shots. And remember, after that walkover, each man enjoyed at the final four stage. They are rested and raring to go. Wow. Well, this a battle between the last two middleweight champions as Kizniak in blue lands a right hand which straight around the rear of the man in red head. He gets through with another right hand and another one. Bakshi trying to tuck up tightly and cover up. He responds with a good salvo of punches, including good work to the body from both flanks. But Kizniak continues to work at an incessant pace, banging away with that right hand. Feet come square, so not sure whether it's orthodox or southpaw. And look at that, the referee taking a risk getting in between the two because they do not want to stop punching. Kizniak is... I've not seen anyone in this competition so eager for the bell to ring. And I can see why. Unbelievably re unrelenting. Midway through the opening round and the punching has been non-stop, but the greater volume as Bakshi scores with good work to the body, counted immediately by Kiznaktis with shots upstairs, but Bakshi looking as though he's targeting the man in blue as both men continue to let the punches flow freely. Oh. Good work to the head by Kizniak. Bakshi keeping his composure, got through with a good right hand. Beautiful one-two landed by the man in blue. Response from Bakshi, but then he was countered by a left hook to the head oh. and another left hand. And Kizniak looking to overwhelm Gleb Bakshi, who initiates a clinch to try and get some respite. But still, Kizniak pushes him off and lets punches go from both flanks. For me, Kizniak's tactics here, Ron, are to shut Bakshi down to the point that he can't get leverage on his punches. We've seen how big a puncher this guy is, but he's had room to punch. He's getting no room to punch here. Kizniak's tactics spot on for me. Absolutely incredible. 
toe-to-toe -to -toe action right from the opening bell. And for my money, as we approach the final 20 seconds, it's Kizniak who's got the, had the better of this. Back, she's certainly in it. And as Alex has pointed out, both of these men capable of taking out their opponents. They are such heavy-handed hitters. Good left hand to the body by Bakshi during that trade-off. And we have invariably had trade-offs, but Kizniak literally has not stopped punching from the opening bell right through to the concluding bell as he lands a cracking roundhouse right, then a straight right which swiveled the head of Bakshi. What a three minutes, my goodness. Kizniak did not give Bakshi any room to breathe. I don't think I can breathe right now. <laughs> what an assault. He worked so hard that half the name has been smoked off the back of his vest. Unbelievable how many shots were thrown in that round run. I don't know if we've seen such a high punch volume throughout this entire tournament. But what an assault by this man. Unbelievable stuff. Well, I thought Kizniak deserved that opening round, but it's on a 3-2 split. Make no mistake, this man was certainly in it, and he had success in short and mid-range. But for me, it was Kizniak who deserved that round. It's gone his way for judges 3, 4 and 5. So this battle between the last two world championship gold medalists in the middleweight division resumes and it just picks up where it left off at the conclusion of the first. Kizniak looking to get over that front foot, backing up Bakshi to the ropes. He's staying on the strands and look at the successes despite some shots being blocked, but Kizniak getting through with plenty of leather. Bakshi trying to respond, tucking up behind the shoulder roll, keeping his wits about him, trying to employ the layback. But Kizniak simply climbing inside the man's jersey and not giving him any respite. You can't employ a layback against this man because if he misses the first punch, he'll throw the second. If he misses the second, he's going to throw a third, fourth and fifth. So until he's got your back literally bent over the rope, Ron, he's going to keep punching. What a style. So Bakshi looking to work both upstairs and downstairs, looking to bring the uppercut through the middle. But Kizniak is always punching. Glances the chin with a right hand there and another right hand success and another one. Good left hand to the body in response from Bakshi, but he takes a right uppercut through the middle. Good right hand to the body from the man in red and then targets the torso of the man in blue once again. But again, Kizniak answers straight back. Bakshi working the body very well, Ron. He's selecting his body shots, and that's actually a very, very clever tactic. Aggressive brawlers very rarely are hit to the body, and when they are, it can slow them down. And it is working here because I believe Bakshi is getting a response now, although this man just does not know any other way to box, I do not believe. I seriously doubt he even knows how to go backwards. And you have to remember, Kizniak used to compete on the global stage up at 81 kilograms, light heavyweight. Was a quarter finalist in the 2016 world qualification event in Baku. But he's come down six kilos to middleweight now. And my goodness, he is proving to be a handful. Well, his Again. tactics here, Ron, have been very, very smart because Bakshi is a huge puncher as we've seen throughout. And he's also very, very cagey. His shot selection's great as well, but he's just not given him the room to do that. And it's quite smart that he's closed him down to such a degree that he actually can't get leverage on his own punches. Good work off the ropes from Bakshi. He scored with a straight shot salvo a few moments ago. There's a cut to the left eye of Bakshi. I didn't see the heads come together. It may have been caused by a punch. Let's keep a close eye on the referee if he caused time to get that eye injury inspected. And again, both boxers want to sort this out themselves and just never mind the third man in the ring. Let us go to work and see who the better man is. No call of time from the referee. Bakshi will make it back to the corner, but he takes the left hand right around the guard, which swivels his head. What an action-packed round once again. OK, you want to have some afters? I'll see you right there, my man. You have your go, I'll have mine. There's the nick to the right eye of Gleb Bakshi. The bell went four seconds ago. They were still going. <laughs> see, we can see any of those really good body shots from Bakshi that I thought got a response. 
well. from Kisniak, but maybe we won't see them because there was only 15,000 punches thrown in that round <laughs> to pick from. This is a case of what you prefer. Personally, I think the man in blue edged the second round and he has swept it across the board. So it is all square after two completed rounds for judges one and two, 19 points apiece. This man is leading 20 points to 18 for judges three, four and five as we go into the third and final round. The referee asks him a rather stupid question. Are you ready to go? What do you think? So three minutes to go then, good two-shot burst to the body from Bakshi, but now Kizniak resumes his unrelenting punching once again. Bakshi square on the ropes and Kizniak just letting his hands go, but Bakshi scoring with punches downstairs with both his palm turned upwards and straight shots as well. This is unrelenting toe-to-toe -to -toe stuff between these two skillful individuals in fighting and art in itself of course of course and both of these men are demonstrating that to the highest possible level certainly are there's good defense going on in there as well if you know what you're looking for good Back. head movement from Bakshi there on Back a seat. sneaky Trying wind a, an uppercut there, Ron. Yeah, try to flashy bolo right hand. And, and just is trying to Bakshi get... just beginning to feel the pace. You see, he's the man initiating the clinch. And it, previously, when he tried that uppercut, he's trying to put some distance between himself and the man in blue. Kizniak looks as though he can maintain his punch output all day long. Good work to the body with the left hand from Bakshi. Burst away with puncher just above the belt line once again. And he's targeting the man in blue's body terrifically. But look at that for an eye-catching right cross. Then a left hand from Kizniak. Bakshi responding, but for me, he's being outworked in these exchanges. What a hard right hand there from Bakshi. And Kizniak just doesn't give any indication that he's feeling any of these blows, does he? Bakshi was trying to buy himself a little bit of room back there. And look at that head-to-head -head like a pair of rutting stags. The referee trying to take control of this contest. The boxer's not interested in his instructions. There's no bad sportsmanship here. They just simply want to continue to set about one another. Good right hand landed by Kizniak. Bakshi looking to fight off the strands once again. Ties his man up, looks to turn him. Both men demonstrating terrific chins, terrific conditioning. Wonderful infighting in evidence from both of these men. And the referee looking to just maintain control of Whoa. this contest once again. Terrific uppercut by Kizniak. Nice head movement from Bakshi. Kizniak's stamina is absolutely breathtaking. The way that he can find the room to throw continuous barrages of shots like this against such a hard puncher as well. Bakshi, very, very powerful guy, and his head's been jarred in all ways here against this unrelenting man in blue from Ukraine. Well, there's the 10 second clap up, and these two 75 kilogram middleweights have fought at a pace more closely associated with featherweights. It has been remarkable to behold. Good left hand from Bakshi. Kizniak looking to have the final word. And Kizniak raises his arms in anticipation of the verdict. I happen to share his anticipation. I think he's done enough to take this contest. But my goodness, these two familiar rivals have just added another instalment to what is a brilliant series of bouts between these two. What a contest. Unbelievable stuff. Definitely not on each other's Christmas card list. No love lost at all. They went head to head through everything they had at each other, both wanting to win this contest so much. Well, Ron, I think that proves the fact that they're not very relaxed and easy going, as you said earlier. Both guys were trying to send out a serious statement there. Ladies and gentlemen, the widow and Floyd by split decision in the blue corner representing and Alexander Kizniak earns a repeat victory over his rival from Russia. The tournament number two seed beating the tournament number one seed. The 2017 world champion prevailing over the reigning 2019 world champion. He acknowledging all sides of La Grand Dome here. But Gleb Bakshi 
deserves immense credit for playing his part in what was an absolutely incredible spectacle. A torrid application of hammer and tongs punching over the course of three three-minute rounds. These two 75-kilogram middleweights did not stop working from opening bell to last. What great, like nothing we've maybe seen throughout this tournament. And of course, there was no shortage of skills either. We've seen some fantastic head movement, some great catch and return punching, combinations, counter punches. Now you can see the Ukrainian team ecstatic at their man's victory, and there's the final scores run. So Alexander Kizniak taking it on a 4-1 split. Two scores of 28-29, Judge 2 preferring